All right, so today I am out on Seaport Boulevard. Uh, behind me is a salt factory, I think it's called. And uh, I've driven by this salt factory many times. In fact, I've even tried to paint it before and always have failed. So today I'm gonna try it again. All right, so I'm thinking of doing a panorama and I'll put the horizon at the lower third and I'm gonna use this sort of uh, seawall here uh, as a diagonal to lead the eye into the composition. There are some hills in the background as well. So I've got my tripod easel today, usual palette of colors. I'm gonna be painting on a seven by 14, or no, seven by 16 inch panel. Using liquid as my medium, I have no idea which brushes I'll use. Probably this number eight synthetic bright. Got a brush washer with some mineral spirits and for my composition, I'm gonna be using my view catcher. So as I said, something like that. Okay, so there's the composition, and you may have noticed that I just sort of roughed in the buildings, um, and then I came in and put a little bit more detail. I just wanted to make sure that they were in the right place, and uh, so far, so good. So I'm gonna start laying in the darks. All right, so the shadow pattern is now established and I like what I see, so I'm gonna keep going. I've just sketched in some approximate colors. Um, I put in some uh, titanium white with alizarin crimson here to kind of put a few little pink tones that I was seeing uh, in the salt out here. But the salt is obviously, uh, it's pretty yellow. So I'm gonna come over this with white with yellow in it. Um, that is the brightest spot in the painting. So I'm gonna key the sky and everything to this uh, salt.
Okay, so here is the finished product. I like this format. You know, I think this, you know, extra wide panorama is uh, pretty cool. I just don't like the size of the panel. It was too small. So I wasn't able to paint in my usual way. I felt pretty cramped, especially, you know, with these small shapes over here. Uh, I didn't even have a, a brush small enough to do like the lines around the roof. So what I did was I used the edge of my number eight synthetic bright and that worked pretty well. Um, use that along the bottom here too. So that's it. So as usual, let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you'd like to see some extra videos and help support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description. Other than that, stay creative and I'll see you guys in the next video.